Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the Tech Team Trunks channel where we're going to tinker and learn. Today, what I have for you is the Zotac Gaming GeForce RTX 3090 Ti Extreme Holo Review. And this is a Tech Bits by Tech Tinktronics video. According to TitchPowerUp.com, the Zotac GeForce RTX 3090 TAMP Extreme Holo is a smooth new graphics card from Zotac Gaming, powered by the Peak RTX 30 series GPU. The RTX 3090 is the pinnacle of the NVIDIA Ampere graphics architecture, and not simply maxes out all shaders physically present on the biggest GA102 silicon, yet additionally boosts memory bandwidth and clock speeds with making this a two-fold digit rate quicker than the RTX 3090 the organization's true led GPU until now. Its main interest group is any individual who needs to play the most recent games at 4K native resolution with beam following and maximized subtleties, as well as PC enthusiasts wanting to be at the highest point of benchmark lists of competitors. So that's the intro, and basically it's, it's a very powerful card for a very good price. So let's talk about some of the features. Features. Second gen ray tracing cores. Third gen tensor cores. Hollow black design. Spectra 2.0 RGB lighting. Compatible with external LED strip. Ice Storm 2.0 advanced cooling. Advanced cooling with freeze fan stop. Dual BIOS. Metal RGB LED backplug. Firestorm utility. NVIDIA NV Link. SLE ready. VR ready. So, what we have is a M an MV Link ready and SLI ready and VR ready card. So there's a lot of features to this card and even more than what I'm covering now. Let's talk about the graphics. Graphics processing power. Each of the 84 streaming multiprocessors, SM of the GA102 silicon are enabled on the RDX 3090T. This works out to 10,752 CUDA cores, 84 RT cores, and 336 tensor cores. The memory subsystem sees an upgrade, as well, with the introduction of 21 gigabytes per second evaluated GDDR6X memory chips instead of the 19.5 gigabytes per second ones on the RDX 3090. The new chips enable a memory bandwidth of north of 1 TBS, up from the 954 gigabytes per second on the RDX 3090. Memory size continues as before, at 24 gigabytes. NVIDIA had gone with such an enormous memory amount for the original RDX 3090 in light of the fact that it positioned the SKU as a Halo segment product. Since there's no Titan product this generation and the huge memory amount enables specific use, cases with enormous data sets. So essentially, if you're doing major video production, processing large data sets and that sort of thing, uh, the, the possibilities are endless with this card. Let's talk about the, uh, the power. And this is the power supply to the card. Power delivery. The RDX 3090T is likewise the first graphics card to debut the new ADX 16 pin power connector. And on the NVIDIA Founders Edition card, yet additionally custom design cards, no matter how you look at it. The connector is technically fit for up to 600W power supply, and NVIDIA rated the regular board power of the reference RDX 3090T at 450W, which is an entire 100W higher than the RDX 3090 and implies that overclocked custom design cards, for example, the Zotac Amp Extreme we're reviewing today could approach or even cross the 450W mark. The 16-pin connector is still extremely new for the SU industry, so all board accomplices are expected to incorporate an NVIDIA-designed adapter that converts three 8-pin C power connectors to a 16-pin connector. So, I mean, they're talking that you could get up to 600 watts delivered to this card through their new connector, which is awesome so you're gonna have to build a pc around it so let's talk about the cooling which is a uh, very important we got to cool it down some cooling setup 
The Zotic RDX 3090T Amp Extreme Holo is the organization's lead air cool custom design item and features a refreshed variation of the Ice Storm 2.0 cooling arrangement we've seen on any semblance of the RDX 3090 Amp Extreme. It includes a substantial triple slot heatsink that is ventilated by a triplet of fans. There's an undeniably huge RGB lighting component along the top of the card. Under is a new PCB with an essentially unique power design worked around that 16-pin connector. The PCB likewise includes an enormous pattern for airflow from the cooler to go directly through. Zotic's factory overclock for the RDX 3090T is 1890 MHz held, while the NVIDIA reference runs 1860 MHz. So, I mean, there is some overclocking possibilities like you don't believe. This is like kind of top of the line for the day and it's well worth it if you're into graphics and you need graphics po power capabilities so um what i want to do now is i want to take a look and see what's on amazon.com but before we do that we're going to take a look at the reviews that we have in the slideshow all right so basically we got customer reviews from amazon.com and there's two global ratings on this. It's a fairly new device. One gave it a five star, one gave it a one star, and one didn't like the five star review. But uh, I don't think this review is exactly helpful. So I'm gonna move on to Google and see what I have there. So according to Google, um, a guy bought it from Best Buy and um, he said it was, uh, you know, he said it gave a rating of 5.0 and he says it's great. So that's really, you know, what I have to say about that. So even though there's few reviews, my opinion on it is this. Um, this is a hell of a powerful card and to run it, you're gonna have to run it in temperatures like ambient room temperatures around, like I run my computers about and like at, at, at time of recording, it's like 65 degrees in the room, but most people have it probably hotter than that. But you have three fans on the thing, so you can overclock it and you could cool it. So there is many possibilities with this card. And then also too, I want to point out that you could get this card through a link that I have in the information section of the video. It's a paid link. And as an Amazon associate, I earn on qualifying purchases. They have payment plans. They have like, this is a, tagged as a bestseller. You could pay 116.67 a month for 18 months, interest-free for approval for an Amazon Rewards Visa card if you have it. Otherwise, you could pay the full outright price. Now, for what it does and for the possibilities and the, the package that you get, it's well worth the money. I mean, it's it's up there in price, but you know, I mean, it, with the all that's gone on in the past year, the best you can get, you know. Um, if you could do better, go for it. But you could. Uh, it usually ships within three to five days. Um, and I wonder, you know, if you have Prime, this is a beautiful thing. So hey, thanks for watching, ladies and gentlemen. If you have any comments, feel free to leave a comment below. Feel free to subscribe to the channel.